A teacher sets up the apparatus shown to demonstrate a double slit interference pattern on a screen. So you're going to have a light, I don't know, light bulb or sunlight or... It cannot sunlight, cannot sunlight. Some light source come in. They're going to go hit the double slit and that's where you have two waves to interfere with each other and make those bright, dark, bright, dark fringes. So which change to the apparatus will increase the fringe spacing? When we say fringe spacing, we mean, oh, between this blue dot or line and the next blue line, that's the fringe spacing we, use, we call X. And generally for double slit, there's this main equation, Young's double slit experiment, lambda equals to AX over D. But here we are looking at fringe spacing. So we're going to rearrange that and say X equals to lambda D over A. And here, we want x to increase. We want them to be further apart. So what can you change? I'm not going to look at the answer yet because I'll get confused. So I'm going to look at the, uh, what you call this? The, the equation. So let's look at lambda first. If I want x to increase, I must increase the wavelength. So I look at the choice d. Oh, decrease. Ah, wrong already. Low. Because if you want, if you increase the wavelength, then only you can get an increase in fringe spacing. So cannot, not correct. Then how about D? Oh, why is, why is D and why is A? They never give up. God. There are a few variables we need to rename here. The distance between double slit and the screen is also known as D, but here they call R. La. The double slit spacing is A. In this case, they're called Q. So we're going to... We gotta do a bit of renaming here. So this is R over Q. Hmm, that's better. So we want to let's check up A. Ah. Decrease the distance P. Hmm, that would be that does does that affect anything? There's no such no effect on our double slit pattern. So no. Decrease the distance Q. Okay, that one we can check. When you decrease Q, this one decrease, it's inversely proportional. Because so you see X is proportional, 1 over Q. So when you decrease that, hmm, free spacing will increase. Okay, okay, that's the answer. Now let's check C also. When you decrease R, hmm, since X is proportional to R, both will also decrease. Okay, not la. So best choice here we can choose is B. So whenever you look at changes to experiment, start off with the equation, and then from there, think about the relationship between what are the variables that are changing. Only two can change. If there's more than that, you have to do some calculation already. Okay, so that's all for this video. See you in the next one.